Hello and welcome to North Central Michigan College. This video today is to help you apply for residency in our dorm on campus. Right now I have our digital viewbook open so you can learn more about the dorms and your options of living on campus. By taking a look over here at this picture, you can see a sample of what the rooms look like. All of our dorm rooms come with a twin size bed, a desk, and a closet for you to use. The room is set up for you and a roommate as double occupancy. Each room is set up with a suite style bathroom that is shared with suite mates on this side of the same gender. Mm. The bathroom doors lock on both their, either side as well as the door out into your hallway giving you complete privacy. These rooms are available as a single for a higher rate when there is space available for our students as well. Our dorm is home to over 100 students each year and is a great place for you to meet other students, stay involved in campus, and enjoy that campus life. This picture here lets you see how you can decorate and make it cozy and use your own unique style to make this your home away from home. To apply to live in our dorm, we're going to start by going to the North Central Michigan College webpage. Our homepage is ncmich.edu. Once you're on this website, you're going to log in to your student portal here, the NC portal with the lock button. Here's where you're going to put in your user ID and your password. You should have these by now, and if you have forgotten, you can use your forgot username or forgot password button here to help get those sent to you. I'm going to log in. Once I'm inside my student portal, there are a lot of different features and things for me to do. Today we're going to focus on just this button here, My Dorm Application. So if you click on the My Dorm app, this is going to open up the application. It's important for you to know that once you fill out this application, you will be required to submit a $100 non-refundable housing application fee. You can pay this by credit card online, or if you need to contact our business office, you may do so to set up a check or cash payment. This $100 non-refundable housing fee will become your residence hall damage deposit, similar to a security deposit when moving into an apartment. And this will then be considered refundable, pending that you adhere to our standard checkout procedures. Housing assignments of which room you are in, who your roommate is, and who your suite mates are, are typically mailed out in August. During this application, you will also be able to pick your meal plan option. All of our students living on campus are required to purchase a meal plan. So once you've read through all this information, you can click Next, and we will start to fill out the application. Some of this information is going to be pulled over for you as you are logged into your secure student portal. So you're going to verify that it's okay, fill in anything else that you're missing, and continue on to the next page. You're going to want to make sure you have your updated cell phone number, home phone number, email address, home address as well for us. And now we're going to look at your different housing options. So we're applying for fall 2020 residency and here's where you can choose your meal plans. We have a silver meal plan, a gold meal plan, and a platinum meal plan. Meal plans cost the price that is shown here, and that is how much money will be loaded onto your card to allow you to eat meals in our Iron Horse Cafe as well as the Halfway Cafe. All of our purchases are a la carte, meaning if you pay for a bagel, you're getting a bagel. If you would like an omelet and bacon and toast, that might cost more, but it's, you're going to only pay for what you're eating. Um, any leftover money at the end of the semester from the fall semester may be carried over into the winter semester. But it's important to know that at the end of the winter semester, this cannot be carried over to the next year. You may also always at any point throughout the semester add more money to your meal plan if you need to do so. So after you choose your meal plan, you're going to go down and then you're going to choose if they're double occupancy or single occupancy. This is where you would share a room as well as have suite mates on the other side of the bathroom. And a single is where you would have that bedroom to yourself and share a restroom with your suite mates next door. Right? Singles are not guaranteed, but um, you will only be charged this price if you are given a single room. This next page is a little bit more about you as a student. So you're gonna list the year you graduated from high school or completed your GED, where you went to high school, a little bit more about you as a student. This question asks if you are a fifth year early college student from one of our early college programs and your proposed educational path down here. If you are unknown, this is not a required question. You may leave this blank. 
The emergency contact information is an important page for you to fill out in case we need to contact someone on your behalf. So make sure you have a family member or trusted friend that you could list here with um, phone numbers, address, and everything that we could need. All of our students are allowed to have a car on campus with no additional cost. So if you would like to bring your car to campus and park it here, you may do so. You check yes, and you would fill out the make, model, year, color, and license plate. This housing survey is used to help us place you with a roommate that's gonna be compatible or possible suite mates that will be compatible for you. The next page will allow you to choose a roommate or suite mates if you already know who you would like to be with, but you'll still be required to fill out this survey. As you go through this, be as honest as possible so that we can make sure you get people who are compatible to you. And here is where you would list roommates and suite mates, keeping in mind you all must be the same gender. If there are any other additional things you would like us to know in considering your housing application and considering roommate choice, please feel free to fill them in in this box here. And then once you are finished with all that, you need to make sure that you understand your payment of tuition, fees, and room and board must be made or a payment plan may be set up prior to moving into the residence hall. Okay, you'll submit this form here and then you'll be taken to the page where you can pay your $100 housing deposit. If you have any questions about living in our dorm or on campus, please feel free to call our Student Services Office at 231-348-6605. Thanks for watching.